So the Cougars pick up their 11th win on the year. More importantly, go to 8-1 and one in the UMAC. And North Central 6-11 and 11 on the season and 2-7 and seven, uh, in the UMAC. Coach Grove joins us, Tim. Uh, nice win all in all tonight. Yeah, it was. Uh, obviously a slow start for us. We didn't have the uh, energy early that I hoped that we would. And, and uh, you know, give North Central a lot of credit for coming in ready to play. And, and um, they knocked down some shots and did some good things offensively to to keep us from getting runs and those types of things. But um, uh, I guess it maybe shouldn't have taken me so long to go zone. I think we were we we're up 23-18, if I remember correctly. And then yep. we, we uh, made that switch to zone and, and got us going all over the place. And... Uh, so that was, that was better, but, you know, we're certainly going to have to come out uh, a little bit more ready to play tomorrow, that's for sure. Yeah, and uh, the Rams come out that 1-3-1 zone, and that just kind of set the tone for the first few minutes of the game. It yeah, kind yeah, of stymied your team. Yeah, it did, and we, we knew it was coming, and we, 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 you know, we got in what we wanted, but we just, in my opinion, we weren't aggressive enough. You know, we, um, um, you know, did a move the ball around fine and all that stuff but uh, at times we try to get too cute you know we, we turned the ball over entirely too much the first half um, didn't do a very good job against that one through one and we just weren't aggressive enough off the dribble either I think I thought that we uh, we relied too much on just passing the ball around the outside and didn't attack enough off dribble drives we get the ball inside whenever I'll touch it inside it was you know something good happened and uh, so we went away from that a little bit too much but um, and Kendra came out in the second half and shot the ball very, very well. And that really got us going there, and, and that was good to see. Yeah, Kendra, 22 tonight, now giving her 964 in her career. Wow. Yeah, she's closing <laughs> in on the 1,000 mark, huh? So uh, getting close. that's good. That's good. Okay, and elsewhere, uh, well, 247 remaining St. Scholastica now on the lead. Bethany's led most of that game. Is that right? And uh, St. Scholastica now up 70-63 over Bethany Lutheran. Last check, Northland, 53, Martin Luther, 48. Wow. <laughs> uh, okay. So, that's so, a surprise as well. So quite the night brewing in the UMAC here. Okay. Wow. Yeah, well, that's, it just goes to show. We, that's something we talk about, too. Anyone can beat anyone on any, any given night. And, uh, you know, certainly there's, um, you know, there's some, some, some proof of that right there. I don't think anyone would have guessed that, uh, you know, Martin Luther goes and gets beat at Northland, but you never know. So. Yeah, well, uh, tomorrow, game. Yeah, tomorrow you're going to need your A game. We certainly will. Northwestern comes in. You know, we sit uh, at a good spot, obviously, at, you know, what are we? It's something in uh, one. Eight and one in eight, the conference. Eight and one in conference. Uh, and, and, of course, our only loss came at Northwestern. So um, that was a great ball game down at their place. They are really, really good basketball team, very well coached, and they've got talent up and down the roster. And uh, it was a very good basketball game at their place. Uh, we actually led. I would say most of that game, we were up, I don't know, something like eight at halftime, and I think we are up as many as, as ten in the second half. Um, and then they're just, boy, they're good. They battled back, and it was a real good game the last ten minutes or so, and they just made a few more plays than we did, and, and uh, so it should be a very, very good entertaining basketball yeah, game. That was the game, if I remember right. Kendra came out just hot on the three-pointers. Yeah, she did. She knocked down the first two uh, threes and the first two possessions, and, and uh, yeah, she was, I think, seven for eight in the game. Uh, six for seven in the first half, maybe something like that, and and they came out. And they they boxed her the uh, the second half. They came out boxing one and and made things pretty difficult for Kendra the second half. Um, so we'll have some things prepped and ready to go for that tomorrow, just in case we see that. And of course they'll check the box score from the night and see that she knocked down some more threes tonight. <laughs> yeah. And, and uh, so they'll they'll certainly be ready for uh, for her and. And yeah, we're just going to play well. All right. Coach, thanks for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Head Coach Tim Grove with us here on the Cougar Sports Network.